sheriff's department just pulled up right now. Hey guys, so back down at the site in Montrose uh, where the uh, where the peaceful protectors have shut down uh, the ability to dump toxic sludge. Just want to give you an update. Literally just got down here. Dapple security had pulled up a few minutes ago, and now the uh, the the sheriff's department have just pulled up to join them. They're having a nice little conversation. I can show you that. It's going to be loud because we're right by the road. Share this out. This is uh, Dapple security on the right as you look, as I look, and on the left, obviously, the sheriff. You can tell the difference because they have their cars painted differently, but that's about the only way you can tell the difference because they both seem to be doing the same job. Um, and then, as you can see here, this is uh, currently the road. And it's our beautiful protector. We have our no dapple on our uh, trailer that's legally here. And our water protector standing there letting people know it's a toxic sludge site. Yes, please do share this. Dylan, thanks for joining. Kevin, thanks for joining. Nicholas from Medicine for the People, thanks for joining. If you can get those boys sharing this, that would be fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, as you can see, we've, this site's pretty, uh, pretty well locked down right now. Um, I literally have just got here. So I'm just seeing what's going on. This is live, live to you and it's live to me. So. So the sheriff is again meeting with Dapple Security. Dapple Security arrived here first and the sheriff's department arrived about 10 minutes after Dapple had their meeting, their security meeting, and now they are colluding together once again. Okay, I know it's quite loud here, so I'm just going to repeat what our uh, media team just told us. About 10 minutes ago, Dapple security arrived down here. They had their own little meeting with the two vehicles that are there. And then lo and behold, up appears the Sheriff Lee County are down here. They're now all having a conversation. So once again, Lee County Sheriff's Department is answering to the beck and call of the Dapple security. So um, you make of that what you will. Please share this around because obviously I believe the taxpayer's money is supposed to protect and serve. I didn't believe it was supposed to be private security for big corporations. If that's what you feel is happening, then be make it known. Um, pass it around. <laughs> Did they bring donuts? Uh, no, they have donuts. Got more, cops. more cops are coming down right now. So first... Okay, so right now, just walking up here, you'll see there's now a second officer just pulled up up the street here. Stepping out of the vehicle now. So right now, this is what's happening down here. Our peace police liaison is having a quiet conversation. Here's the second officer stepping up right now. Police liaison is having a conversation now with the officers. So if you are going to fill them, just leave them alone. Film or no? You can, just don't be distracting.
So now, just to update you on what was said there, basically the property owner had already been down here and was supportive of us being here. And uh, what the officers are saying, the sheriff has now turned up as well. Uh, Spike has come to join us. And um, what has also been said was that uh, apparently uh, Dapple would like to be able to access this site um, and they're not able to right now. So they're wondering if we're going to let them onto the site is kind of how the conversation's going. Defend the sacred. Feel free to share this as you're watching this, people. Thank you for joining, Chris. Bucky. <laughs> I don't know, it's been here for a couple days. I was off the last two days. Actually, I was off the last three days, so it's new to days. me. Okay. All right? That's so fine, I'm just saying. I'm used to the other ones that they've all set up, so this is new to me. Interesting. Pardon me? Interesting. It is very. Yes, everyone I've seen has been interesting. Got some great genius minds here. Mm hmm. Hey, Rosemary, I love you. Thanks for letting me have your house. This pipeline, this destruction of our people and our Mother Earth who sustains us. So we are going to get more creative as you guys try to destroy us. Is oh. that plain and simple? Yep. Thank you. Yeah. 
Hey Rosemary, thank you so much for renting your place out to me previously. I know I've still got mail coming there occasionally. I love you sister and uh, thank you for jumping on here. Be sure to share this around Omaha and see what support we can have down there. We have a fundraiser, I'll post the links. So, this is private property owned by Glenn. We just talked to Glenn. Um, Glenn has asked us to leave. And so the sheriff's department is going to have to honor that of um, the private property's request. So that's where we're at. Dakota Access is also wanting access to this site right now. And just to be clear, Dakota Access wanted access to the site first and then they called the private property owner to see if he would agree. They need this site. Does, do you want me to wrap this up and conclude it or do you want me to keep this rolling? Where am I allowed to stand legally? Where am I legally allowed to stand? Where's the easement? There's public easement. They want to be stood on it. So I'm here. So you're 173 of you watching this right now, be sharing this and be coming on down. Keep rolling. We're, I'm going to keep rolling as long as I can. Absolutely. Okay, so right now down here what's happened is the uh, Dapple have come down, then the police have come down, the property owner who came down last night and already came onto the site once now is saying that we are trespassing. The police have given one warning right now. So right now I've moved onto the public easement so I am staying within the law personally and do not have any kind of risk. And um, please keep sharing this. And we're just trying to ascertain at this stage. Um, you know, we've got a lot of people out there that are watching this. Can you find a wire in there for charging a phone, sir? Um, sorry, I'm just making sure my battery doesn't go. We've got nearly 200 people on this right now. Perfect, that's exactly what I needed. Can you hook it into this box, take off one end, you'll see how to do it. So, okay, so now we've got 204 people here. 212, we need you sharing this, we need you down here. We're going to be showing what's going on right now. We're going to make sure that people understand. Appreciate everyone that's joining. That's amazing. Um, so right now, um, right now, the Apple is so concerned about this site being shut down that the chef is now down there doing their job again. Um, so we need everyone to share this. Uh, I'm trying to stay. I'm staying safe personally on the side here, um, and uh, keep following this because this is going to develop as we, as, as we speak. As you can see, um, this is our current situation here. You see we have various um, 
lines of protection for our protectors. Here you have the signage. You then have this trailer. Now this trailer was kindly donated to us. Um, this was donated to us uh, with the course today. And uh, then, as you saw yesterday, back on the access road back behind there, you will see that we have our peaceful protectors back there. Um, and just wander down and show you. You see them in the background there behind the trailer. So these are our peaceful protectors. Uh, water protector, do you have anything you want to uh, signal? Uh, she's sending you love and peace. She's saying, come with love and peace to here. Okay. She would like everyone to come with love in their hearts and peace. Okay, let people know. Yeah, Montreal, Canada, let people know. Tiffany, thanks for joining us again. We've got over 200 people on here right now with us. Right now, you see the zip ties in the hands of the sheriffs. Um, going back there to speak, I'm not sure exactly what they're going to do with the zip ties. <laughs> they're tapping on the lockdown um, to see if they can uh, tap the protesters off. So these protectors, uh, Mini Wakoni, the UK is in the house. Thank you. Please be sharing. Go to MississippiStand.com, MississippiStand.com, um, and you're actually able to go ahead and make donations, especially for the legal fund, as I feel like right now we may be having some uh, people who are going to be giving up their freedom to pr make sure that this pipeline is not able to do. Uh, the address right here is in Montrose, Iowa. We are on Highway US Highway 61, about a mile north of Montrose in Iowa. You will see, as you come down, you'll see everything that's going on. As you see right now, Dapple, over there, the Dapple security are busy filming everything. I am staying on the public property right now. Thank you, Johnny Little Wolf. So yeah, I'm still rolling on the public property. <laughs> So that's Dapple Security with zip ties preparing for arrest on no Dakota access property. This is again evidence that Lee County is working in collusion with Dapple Security. They are not allowed to make arrests here, but let's wait for it folks because that'll be great. So as you see there's I can I can walk all the way down here. Okay. So I'm going to walk down here on the grass because I have been Mankato, don't just watch, come on down. As you see right now, uh, our water protector, if you didn't see this yesterday, the story here is uh, this beautiful lady, um, she lost her son the day after his 23rd birthday. Him and four friends were in Afghanistan and they were asked at all costs to take a road so oil tankers were able to get from a refinery. They were in vehicles that were not up to the task and it was the last thing they did. So the reason this beautiful water protector is here is to honor her son's memory, make sure his life wasn't lost in vain and to point out all the lives all over the world that are lost for big oil and profit. Right now you've seen examples of how the big money has the ability to have the security. We have the security guards over there was they don't have arrest rights right now stood there we have them conversing with the lee county about having access onto this land right now even though the landowner was down here last night so as you can see big money and profit and oil has a lot of power in many places and they're making a stand to say this goes no more no one deserves to lose their life fighting in a country over resources 
It's not just Americans that die, it's people all over the world. And they're doing this for the future generations. They're doing this to make sure that there is a world for your daughter, for your granddaughter, for your great-granddaughter. So please, please share this right now. I know there's over 250 of you with us today. That's amazing. Um, keep pushing this out. If you can help by coming down and standing in solidarity with peace in your heart and love in your hearts and help show your support, then come on down. We're right on US Highway 61, one mile north of Montrose in Iowa. I will get the zip code up for you guys in a second on the feed. Uh, otherwise, you can pull onto my Facebook.